can you give us a short review, Frederick, of what's, what's... Yes, so the most interesting thing is, of course, that we have a new leader. So Moscow State University has taken the lead, and they've taken the lead not only with one problem, but with two problems lead. So they managed to solve two problems, actually three problems in uh, 19 minutes. Within 19 minutes, they solved three problems, uh, and I now have a lead with six problems uh, over St. Petersburg State University, which still has four problems. Uh, however, of course, St. Petersburg still has a very good uh, time, very low t time penalty, so they still have a chance. If they get into problems the last hour, they will most likely take over the lead. So how hard, I mean, can you guys comment on how hard are the remaining problems that St. Petersburg State University still has to solve? Well, talking about uh, problem F, it is a kind of a technical geometry problem, which is uh, medium complexity, but uh, with geometry it is always devil in the details. And the problem I is very interesting, because uh, I think that the only team that uh, solved this problem as intended by the jury is the Comenius University in the fifth place. And all the other teams are trying different heuristics. And uh, the surprising thing was that the heuristics of the Moscow State, which they coded in like uh, 10 or 15 minutes, just passed all the tests. So that's where they got a little bit lucky, I think. And that's why they get this uh, lead with the very fast implementation of I. They also have problem F coded. They were working on B, E and F simultaneously for a long time, but they uh, dropped the problem F and switched to I in the last 10 minutes. How do other teams do? Like we, we, we've seen during competition, like uh, the National Research University of Higher School of Economics, they just you know jumped out of nowhere and appeared in the table. So do, do you know what, what led them to do that? Well, uh, they basically noticed the uh, University of Warsaw uh, correct uh, submission of problem E and then s they switched to this problem and uh, implemented it. And uh, as far as I know, they are also working on the problem A, which is an interesting mathematical problem. Uh, I am surprised that nobody has accepted it yet, but I think uh, teams, a lot of teams have chances to submit it and get OK yeah. if they get the math right. But is nobody like nobody yet did it? Uh, yeah, but... Yeah, probably the good strategy is to work on problems like A and E, where if you have the correct solution, you can be certain that you can get it right and uh, the amount of code is short and there is low probability of making a mistake. Problem E has a nice connection, for instance, to automata minimization. Follow the 2014 World Finals at icpcnews.com and be sure to check out my ICPC.